hey what's going on guys today we will be making an animation studio or software or whatever you want to call it using ChatGPT and python i will be using gpt4 but you could try using uh, gpt3 for this same thing now i have made i have gotten it once to create a pretty good animation software but i was unable to get him to create onion skin as the code was just too long as you can see i filmed a video just like this one right before uh, a few seconds ago and it was pretty difficult because the animation studio really sucked right let me show you so i have the code from before here if i debug it this is what we have it's pretty great but if we create a new frame the previous one doesn't go and if we preview the animation it just looks pretty bad overall so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try first of all we're gonna delete all this useless code because it's not good and we're gonna try to get him to create a working animation software or studio or whatever so i'll get back to you when i finish writing the prompt all right so here is what i have written Write me an animation software in Python. There must be a big rectangle at the top middle where I can draw in black, and several buttons at the bottom. One will go to the previous frame. One will go to the next frame. One will create a new frame. One will create a new window that will let you preview the animation to see what it looks like so far. And the last button will compile the animation directly onto my desktop, and it will name the video file animation. The animation must run animations must run at eight frames per second before or actually i'll just start it and while it's generating i will tell you what this video is for this video is to show you that even i who only has a basic understanding of python um i can't make very well gui that's about my limit and so who only has a basic understanding of python can create a basic animation software or any other type of software using ChatGPT. Now, this video is also to show you how I will troubleshoot and deal with ChatGPT's, you know, errors. Usually these softwares have a lot of errors because the code is long and it can't do it in one response. But as you can see, it's not doing it very well. It's creating stuff and making me fill in the code. So as you can see, this isn't very good. So I'm going to tell him to create all of the software for me. So give me a second. What I've told it is, I do not want to write any code. You must write it all, please. It's saying it may not include all the features I'm looking for. But let's see what it you know, says. I understand your request. Here's a more complete version of the code. Keep in mind that this is still a simple example and may not include all your features. Now that's a bit worrying because I wanted to have everything. But let's just see. All right, so as you can see, it wrote a very large amount of code, and I don't really know what most of this does. But it cut off randomly, so I'm just going to tell it, continue. I apologize for the incomplete code in my previous response. Here's the completed version of the code. Oh, it's writing the whole thing from the beginning, and it's not going to be able to uh, write it all. So I'm going to tell it continue from the save animation function. All right, then. It's not exactly listening to me, as the code is so long, it's trying to write it from the beginning again. This is a problem I face a lot when asking it to do stuff like this. Okay, so what's good, guys, is it actually didn't start from the beginning, like I thought it was going to. It wrote all this for some reason, and then continued from the save animation like I wanted. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to copy this code that it just cut off. We're going to open Visual Studio. It's just an IDE. You can use whatever IDE you prefer. 
but if you have no idea about code just look it up and download IDE maybe learn the basics of Python if you want it's pretty fun interesting language and then well actually we might as well delete the whole save animation but anyways then you go to here copy the save animation and a lot of times there will be indentation errors so in Python indentate and actually a lot of coding languages indentation and little stuff is important but uh, luckily as you can see it's not way over here which would ruin our whole program so let's just leave it like that and see how it is Ooh, this isn't looking so bad but I can't draw so let's see how this goes well I mean it looks a little bit weird and I can't draw which is a problem so let's ask let's ask ChatGPT why I can't draw I can't draw alright so what it's doing is apparently so apparently um, there was an there was like a incomplete version of the draw on canvas function which is somewhere here here OV. so let's hope that works and as you can see here there was an indentation error this should be one two three four spaces back alright so let's see if this works now alright so I still can't draw oh and I can't save apparently so let's stop debugging and try again a lot of troubleshooting here so I can't or instead let's say how do I draw so this isn't good it's not working and uh, it's just not good alright so it's trying to help me it gave me most of the stuff but I need to copy and paste the other methods from before so let's just open up this again go here control V and then for the other methods methods what we will do is we will go back in our conversation we will look here this is where it wrote most of the code update canvas or I think yay buttons so I I copy and pasted all the code let's hope this works now oh oh well I couldn't draw at first but it seems that I made a new frame alright let's just ignore this frame and create a new frame do like this sorry for any background noise you might be hearing let's do like this and then I don't know like that like this anyways the idea is that it's working so we can preview the animation oh and uh, I forgot to do this in the video so this is being recorded after I finish but the previous frame and next frame buttons work too and the preview animation does too so yeah I'm gonna cut off here and I'll make an actual animation and then I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, so I made a little animation. I'm going to press preview animation and you'll see it. Uh, uh, I just did it a little bit. For you guys, it was you know probably less than a second because I cut, but for me it took like a minute or so. And there it is, my masterful animation. Now when I press this save animation, I could have told him to use File Explorer so I could choose a specific path, but I didn't want to make the code too long, as I usually fail at getting him to produce it when it's too long. But let's see if it works. Oh, as we can see here. And let's see. Well, it says... Well, it says animation saved is animation.mp4 on your desktop, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. And I really don't want to lose this uh, beautiful animation, so...
I'll ask him what's going on. All right, guys. So apparently there is uh, an animation wherever my script file is saved. But let's just modify this to make it easier for ourselves. Control C. Uh, and we'll paste it in the save animation. So let's debug again. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to make a beautiful animation once again, and I'll get back to you in a second. All right, guys, so I made a new animation. As you can see, it's like a little explosion or something. Save animation. And let's see now. Oh, it's here, guys. The animation is saved. It seems to be a MP4 file, which I believe is uh, most people like that. I don't know. But this is pretty cool. So, yeah, that's how you make uh, animation software with GPT-4. As you could see, it didn't have onion skin, and you couldn't delete frames or choose color or a lot of things. But then again, it was made by GPT-4. And so in conclusion, it's pretty difficult to get him to make good stuff, but you can have him make simple stuff. I don't know. I'm not a professional. I know this video wasn't the greatest, but uh, I hope you enjoy. So, have a good day. Oh, and by the way, I'll be posting this for free in itch.io. Or, in other words, I'll leave a link in the description where you can download this. Um, and I'll also leave the code at the bottom if you're a professional developer and you want to modify the code. So, yeah. Have a good day.